here's what I have going on. I have my toroid, my transistor, and here's my ammeter. Now, this LED is a 10 watt LED, and let me see if I can get the camera right in front of it. This is full bore, absolutely blinding. And here is my input voltage and amperage to the circuit. Now, if it's a 12 volt, 10 watt LED, this LED wouldn't turn on. Um, well, it's not supposed to turn on. It does. Well, here's the reason why. Okay, we have 3.9 volts. So, 4 volts times 0.4 amps is, or is uh, 1.6 watts approximately, just a little under. Now, um, this ammeter is an AC ammeter. Now, here's what I have. I have probably 0.4 amps showing up on that meter. Okay, I have 33.32 volts AC coming out at the LED. Now, peak to peak voltage on the scope is reading 96 volts to 98 volts um, and 34 volts is my RMS voltage. It's at 118 to 119 kilohertz and 8.5 microseconds. Okay, um, I really, really don't understand. This is the first time this has happened. Um, I took that LED off, and I put this 50-watt LED on, and this is pretty bright, too. Um, this is a 120-volt LED, so, of course, it's not all the way bright, but 50 watts is 50 watts. So if that was running at 25 watts, that's pretty damn good. Now, let's do this to show you that I'm not fooling around here. I'm going to take, here's a 9-volt battery. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to disconnect my meter. And my scope probe here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to measure. to do this one-handed but anyway I have everything tied up here so I can pretty much prove that I'm not cheating oh we have to change that to DC and let's see I'm not sure if you can see the voltage on there it's tough for me to read the display it says 8.21 volts so it's not even pretty fully charged so I'm gonna go ahead and let's see if I can see if I can get my camera inside of a little tripod that I have here. This little baby phone tripod. And let's see what I can do here. Now this is my power supply. I'm going to shut my power supply off. Light's going to shut off in a couple seconds. There it goes. Now I'm going to take my negative and my positive. Get rid of that wire. I'm going to just hang the positive off of here. And I'm going to let that set right there. No, that's not enough. Okay, now we're going to show you the brightness of this LED. First off, we're going to zoom in to the ammeter. Okay, gives you an idea. It's like 0.1 amps. And it's even brighter now. So that is full brightness right now. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and stand this up again. The only other uh, wiring that I have is connected to my probe. There's nothing here. I'm going to go under the table, and I'm going to show you the bottom side of the table. There is nothing there. Okay. 
That's the only thing connected is to the probe, to the scope. I'm going to go ahead and I'm also going to connect the scope back up to see what type of a waveform we have. Now there's my waveform again. And our voltage now is 98 volts, 100 volts peak, peak to peak, and 42 volts RMS, 138 kilohertz, and 7.21 microseconds. Now that is bright, extremely bright. All right, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to set the, oops, we'll set our little tripod up again. And you get the legs. See if I can get the voltage. First off, I'm going to try this without disconnecting it. Man, my eyes are blinded. Okay. Now we have this is just a show. Let's see if we can get this on camera. We have. I think it can dis yeah it came disconnected. We have four point three volts DC coming out of the circuit. Also, we have thirty two volts AC. Now this is saying thirty two volts AC. The scope is saying 40 volts uh, RMS and 100 to 104 volts peak to peak. And let me tell you, this thing is not at any in any way getting dimmer. Um, as a matter of fact, let's see if it's hot. It's cool enough to keep my finger on it. These usually need heat sinks. And I know I know for a fact that I haven't seen a circuit that's this efficient. Let me see if I can get that light up in front of the camera here. It's kind of hard to... 